happening YouTube it's Mike here uh, tonight guys I want to show you something really cool before I jump into this I want to apologize for the screen flow demo watermark I haven't gotten around to registering uh, screen flow yet but I will get around to it I swear uh, but today I want to show you something really really cool now uh, for all of us running Mac OS X 10.5 leopard and uh, our Angry Birds Fantix you uh, if you're an Angry Bird Fantix you probably know that you can get Angry Birds on your Mac if you're running Snow Leopard. Now, people like me uh, cannot upgrade to Snow Leopard. Yeah, I just, I'm too lazy to go out to the Apple store and actually buy the $30 disc. I'm, yeah. So that's, that looks bad, I guess. I, hopefully, I'll, I'll get around to it. Uh, just like the screen flow registry. But, um, most of, uh, most of us are running 10.5.8 and we really, really, really want Angry Birds on our Mac. Now, trust me, I've tried pirating uh, Angry Birds. I'm, I'm hoping I get in trouble for that. I've tried pirating it and editing around the software to make it work on 10.5. There's no luck. It just isn't. It's made to run on Snow Leopard. So uh, 10.58, you're out of luck. Until I found this thing today. This is pretty cool. So anyways, what you're going to do is forget the Mac App Store. And by the way, uh, to get Angry Birds on your Mac, uh, if you're running Leopard, you're talking $35. That's $30 for the Snow Leopard disc, plus the 5 bucks for the app. This is all free. Especially if you're running Leopard. And here's what you're going to need. You're going to need an iMac running Mac OS X 10.5 Leopard. Obviously, now if you don't want to spend the $5 on the app and you have Snow Leopard, this works with Snow Leopard too, so you're good. If you don't want to spend the 5 bucks and not pirate the app. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, you're also going to need an Intel computer. I'm sorry, PowerPC people. It can't do it. Even if you're running Leopard, you just can't. But anyways, here's what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to download a famous app called Google Chrome. This is an internet browser. Uh, once you download it, you don't need uh, to drag it into the apps folder. All you need to do really is drag it to your dock so we have an easy way of getting it. Once that's in your dock, go ahead and click it open. Go ahead and open it. Let it bounce a couple hundred times. You know, it took forever to iTunes to open the other day. It was so cool. It just kept bouncing up and down. Uh, don't install. I don't care. So Chrome's going to pop open. And this is just a regular internet browser like Safari, Firefox, Opera, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but this is this is what's going to help you with Angry Birds. And you can probably see I have it right there. So anyways, what you're going to do is it'll probably take you to Google.com first. You're going to go ahead and delete up here. Now, right up in the uh, top bar, you're going to go ahead and... Uh, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Let me get rid of some of this. You're going to go ahead and go to um, chrome.google.com slash webstore. Now this is not going to work in any other browser. You could try it in Safari, Firefox, whatever the hell you want to. It's not going to work in any of those browsers. It's only going to work in Google Chrome. So go ahead and click that. Now this is like the um, the market on Android phones, the App Store on Apple's devices. So this is like the Mac App Store, but now I actually want to bookmark this. This is like the Mac App Store uh, now in Google Chrome. So um, Chrome Web Store. So this is pretty cool. I, I just found out about this. So check that out, Angry Birds. Go ahead and click that. This is free. So here you go. You've got Angry Birds for free. Um, so you also get some Chrome levels uh, in Angry Birds. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and show you this. So look at this. Like here, we got one million up users. So yeah, uh, hundred thousand weekly installs. There's tons of stuff. But yeah, so this kind of looks like the uh, Mac uh, Mac app icon right there, actually. So, uh, go ahead and click install right here. I already have it installed, so I don't need to worry. Uh, it takes a couple seconds, actually, to install. Uh, then it's going to take you to some download page. I'm not sure where it took me, but it took me to maybe home? No. But um, it took me to... Um, it... Anyway, <laughs> when you're in Angry Birds, uh, or you could, after you download it, just go to chrome.angrybirds.com. When you're there, make sure you click this little... Um, this won't be in yellow, though. Make sure you click the uh, little star button. So right here in your favorites tab, you'll always have a link to Angry Birds. So let it load, and you're set. Now I turn this off, but I'll go ahead and put it on. So here you go, your own version of Angry Birds. Now I can play Angry Birds on my Mac, and I saved 35 bucks. Not bad. Uh, so this is actually the beta for Chrome. So go ahead and play. I already started playing a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you, this is a beta, and you could probably already see the lines. It is a little bit slow, and you can see the lines moving. 
Uh, if you want the speed to go faster, you go ahead down here and click SD version. Click OK. It's obviously going to get smaller. This is about the, the a little bit smaller than the iPad screen. Okay, so the animations move much faster here. You won't lose anything when you switch. The animations are much, much faster. You still have the lines, though. So, like, if you look here, everything goes faster, but you still have those lines. Now, like I said, if you look on the main menu, look, people, beta, so don't start bitching about it not working. You save 35 bucks, it works. So, um, that is the way to uh, cheat out and get Angry Birds on your Mac. Uh, again, the requirements are Mac running OS X Leopard 10.5 and Intel. You need to download Google Chrome, blah, 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 Google Chrome and uh, then go to the uh, Chrome market and download Angry Birds. That's it. Everything is free. Uh, this has worked for me so far pretty well. Um, I was really happy when I saw it. I was like, oh, yes. Because uh, ever since I actually downloaded Snowbird for about the last uh, eight years I've been using Tiger on this Mac. Uh, I recently upgraded to Snow Leopard back uh, at last month, actually. I'm sorry, not Snow Leopard, Leopard. And uh, it's a better operating system, but for about a month I tried to play around with uh, the pirated version I downloaded of Angry Birds to make it work on 10.5.8. I had no luck. Just getting that little cross thing off of it, that was about it. Then. Because I can't run on that software. And then eventually I actually did get it to work and I'd tap it open and it would say uh, closed unexpectedly. So I was about this close, but it's meant to run on Stolibird. So anyways guys, I really, really hope you like this. Be sure to tell you... You see, it's almost 12 a.m. in the morning and I'm talking like an idiot. Be sure to tell your friends about this. I'm sure a lot of you are having the same problem as I am, not being able to play Angry Birds. It's about time we got something like this. I mean, really. I've been wanting to do this forever. Also, the Chrome Web Store. Have you even known about this? I had no idea. I'm going to look into this. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Sorry for no video in like a week. I've been busy again. Alright, guys. Remember to comment below on what you think about this. Rate. Give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe. There is a button at the top. Help me. I'm messing up horribly. I reached like a thousand subscribers the other day, so I'm really happy, and I, I will, no, 1,200 actually. I will be holding a giveaway soon, I promise. Thanks guys. Peace.